interesting. So, um, what's his face? What's the actor's name? Uh, Frank Grillo was on the fire and the kid, and he spoke to them about his love for Kane Corsos, the same dog. Um, I think his name was Tank that Brendan gave away, um, because obviously he didn't listen to the fucking breeder. Um, who gave him the dog and said hey you shouldn't have this if you have kids he said he wanted to take it anyway because he's an alpha male and no woman can tell him what to do so he basically was going to bring that dog back to his home um, and give it you know to his family and let his wife look after it while he goes out on tour and plays slap butt with all his fellow comedians and let them handle this absolute beast of a dog that isn't meant to be um, you know uh, around children or if it is it's meant to be trained really 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 well but clearly my guy isn't going to be training his dog in any kind of way. He's definitely just going to be, you know, palming it off to the wife and letting her deal with it. And clearly she was also in her right to be completely annoyed because she's going to have to deal with the fallout if this dog ends up being an absolute weapon that we absolutely believe is going to be. And then, of course, Brendan being embarrassed, he didn't talk about it ever again and basically gave the dog back essentially that's a pretty which is horrible right you introduce it to a home you make it seem like it's going to be there forever with his family and then you give it away again that's like, absolutely irresponsible stuff that he did right and a lot of people that have dogs that are dog people were really really annoyed by it like oh, super super annoyed by it um <laughs> i want to check this out here i think it's about here i think this might be the clip let me see hopefully i have it on the right place but let's just play it from here and see what it does but the, the conversation around the cane corso comes up and for whatever reason brendan instead of just sitting there and admitting oh by the way i had one i fucked up um and just kind of being honest about the story he kind of plays off like he's still got a dog and brian clearly is a bit annoyed by it and kind of rolls his eyes a couple of times it's quite funny that the motto of that story is carry a gun or hang out with steve mcqueen or get two cane <laughs> corsos like me man those you can't dogs come near my house. Those dogs are no joke. They are no, no. joke. I told you not to do as it. They, as they've gotten older now, they've gotten <clears throat> out of puppydom. They're they're two years old. They are serious animals. Th this and, and I take them, I take them. I, I I have this. There's like a 15 acre plot that some guy in the OC owns. That it's me and humble brag. Jeremy Renner lives across the street. And humble brag. Like my dogs go running. It's a mountain. My dogs are the most athletic animals I've yeah. ever seen. By far. Seen. Oh my you just got God. one. Yeah, best dogs ever. Yeah. Any <laughs> I don't know if this guy is homeless. I think this might be Frank Gula's son. I'm not sure if he's homeless or stuff. He's like, hey, you just got one, right? <laughs> Let's go back to that again. That was beautiful. And him without missing a beat, lied straight away. Instant lie. No flinching. Also, if you're wearing denim jogger pants with elastic at the bottom, you got to burn them. You've got to throw them in the bin. You've got to lay them across the motorway somewhere and let a bunch of cars run over them. And if they get chewed up in the wheel arch and they get spun in the axle and they rip apart to different little pieces and then they get spread all across the interstate, good job. But you shouldn't be wearing them. You shouldn't be wearing denim jogger pants with elasticated cuffs. That's pretty crazy. Just my opinion. But hey. I got a bunch of workers in my house. Anyone. Oh, oh my. Dogs just... go running. It's a mountain. My dogs are the most athletic animals I've yeah. ever seen. By far. Seen. Nuts. Oh you just got God. one. Yeah, best dogs ever. <laughs> Any, I got a bunch of workers in my <laughs> I just love how quickly he lies. Yep, best dog ever. Yep, got all the games, mate. Yep, completed it. Yep, I fucked her. Yep, fucked her too. Yeah, he fucked me. Yep, whatever. Yep, got him. <laughs> house. Anyone comes near my house, these dogs are on them. It's on... Sure. Dude, so he... at the When he first got them, they're both like, you know, four months old. And they're shitting and they're barking and everything else. And Frank just goes, I got to get rid of them. I, I'm, I, I'm not having two of these. I got to get rid of one of them. So he not going to lie. The way Brian Callen sits cross-legged on the chair like that, it just gets on my nerves. Maybe even more so than him wearing flip-flops with skinny jeans. I hate it so much. Maybe because he's just a small man or whatever it may be. I don't know. But it just annoys me. Like the, that sit, that's like the, that's how someone sits down that's been to like a private boarding school in the Swiss Alps, you know? Daddy's going to come collect me in his Jaguar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that's what we're waiting. Daddy's going to come in the new Maybach. Mm -hmm. Waiting for the jet to pull up, actually, with Henry, my butler. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, like, that's how he's sitting down. It's just annoying. He's, he's, I'm getting rid of him. He calls the guy. He goes, you got to take one of the dogs. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, tomorrow, good. Like that. And his son, his son uh, Liam, comes walking out with with There's one of the dogs feet. in his hand, Kit. and his his kid's son's like sixteen at the time. Comes out. No, he's like, yeah, he's like fifteen. Yeah, fifteen. Yeah, fifteen. He comes out like this, and, and Liam's super sensitive. Like yeah. Liam loves animals yeah, more yeah. than anything. So Liam walks out like this, and Frank goes, 
we're going to get rid of that dog. We're going to give it uh, back to the trainer tomorrow. And Liam just goes, that doesn't work for me. <laughs> <laughs> and Frank, 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 there's a moment, Frank looks in his eyes and Frank goes, he really serious? fuck. He goes, fuck. He goes, well, you got to take care of it. Then. By the way, cut to, we live in this new house. Look at Brendan's face. He's like doing the whole like tennis thing. He doesn't want to get involved. And same thing about the fucking king courses, but he's just partaking and laughing as if he's got one at home. Oh, the lying is tear level. And Liam's got the biggest room in the house. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And I go in the room the other night. Humble, humble brag. I like what he's humble brags though. He's bragging about the field that he's got where his dogs play. And he's bragging about the size of his kid's room. That's pretty nice brags to have, right? He's not bragging about his fleet of cars or about him having a big dick. He's just talking about, hey, I've got room for my dogs to play. I love that. Seeing my dogs play. And I've got these big rooms for my kids. So they never leave me. That's quite nice. Laying across his body, Sophie. Yeah, he's got a connection. I love, to I that, love that dog. dog. And you go near that kid. They're the best dogs you buy. Oh my they god! Are. I oh want that. Oh my god, Brendan, don't get involved like this. You sold yours. You bought. You bought one and you gave it back to the trainer. Some people are accusing you of killing it. Right? That's some of the rumors. Again, I'm just. I'm just saying what the inlet says. I don't know. I don't know what happened, Papa. I don't know. B. I, I wasn't there. Great dog. Never met him. Right? But some people are saying you might have. You might have. You, 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 she might have sprinkled some Xanax in that dog food. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. That dog, I told yeah. you. I wanted She has turned out. into my favorite. I mean, she I told is you. amazing. I've never seen an athlete. I mean, she's, she's like, she's she is so like smart. the Michael Jordan. Of, no, no, imagine she's so much smarter than Rumlow. Yeah. Imagine if Sharon well, Tate had That's not dog. very hard. Rumlow's not, not very smart. If, if Sharon Tate had, had those dog. dogs, like yeah. the whole course changes. Correct. 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 My dog, I was playing oh fat. Oh my God, he loves that serial killer nonsense, isn't it? It's siren tight. All right, guy, relax. With Rumlow. He, by, by accident, he grabbed my wrist instead of the stick, opened me up oh, right remember. to the bone. I remember this. He barely he had didn't his mean to, yeah. almost crushed my hand. Yeah. They're great with kids, great with yeah. family, the best yeah. dogs. Like they best are dogs serious yeah. animals. Anyway, uh, I digress. <laughs> So, but uh, the, the guy who wrote it was in the Manson. You were just, you just like the script. <laughs> you know, you know why he's lying. You know why he's lying because of how he switched the topic so quickly. He wanted no parts of just continuing into it. He just switched it quick style. <laughs> it's, it went back to whatever they're talking about previously. I love it. I love it. Yeah. So he kind of went out to the desert one weekend and had this kind of interaction with a cult-like family, and then this idea kind of came about um and i had met him a couple years back and for a year was helping him make script edits they had a director attached that's cool director dropped out and i kind of got my chance to that's cool to jump in let, let, let's but let's throw it all out yeah. on the ground the script was horrific it was we had to work on it yeah we had to yeah. work on i mean it. we yeah. had to okay anyway but you, you get the drift there i find that i find it absolutely hilarious how he did that that was brilliant work there for our brendan i'm um, sticking to the light committing to the bit um, I had that dog. I love that dog. It's still there. It is what it is. Leave me the fuck alone.